In America, we like immigrants so much, we'll vote for them even if they don't deserve it. But when it comes to illegal immigrants, we're split. One side says they should be given amnesty and tries to persuade us by blocking traffic, making it f***ing impossible to get to work. The other side says illegal immigrants should be made felons, which puts the person who cleans your hotel room in the same boat as the person who murders you. But what's the big deal? Isn't there a compromise? And does any of this even matter? Because in 20 years, we're probably going to be using robots. How do you feel about illegal immigration? Um, well, obviously it's impossible to condone illegal immigration, but I think the best way that the United States could deal with it would be through granting amnesty to those who are already here. So put them on a path to citizenship? Absolutely. And Perhaps a trail of tears? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Should we deport illegal immigrants, or do you think laws are just suggestions? I think laws are just suggestions, yes. Should we build a firewall? Uh, yeah, but you can't build a firewall wall over every uh, space in the, in the, in the, on the border and uh, you can if you go to control panel I'm not really familiar with the, how would that work they work here they have a home here they have families here it's definitely something that they're a part of so leave them here I think we should put them on a reality show <laughs> and then every week we decide whether to vote them off or keep them based on their life story <laughs> and how well they sing hits from the 80s. That's a good idea, I definitely like that. You support uh, illegal immigrants staying here? I, I guess I guess so, yes. You I su do. Do you support it so much that you would leave instead? That I would leave the country? Instead of them? Oh no. If you really loved them, you'd sacrifice yourself. I oh, <laughs> you are putting me in an awkward spot. I love putting girls in awkward spots. And then I realized something about illegal immigrants. I can relate to them. A week ago, I went to a swanky club, but there was no guarantee I'd get in. So, I made a run for it. My hand wasn't stamped, so I stayed in the shadows where no one would notice me. While there, I drank beers that legal partygoers didn't want to drink and ate food that legal partygoers didn't want to eat. All was going well until the man showed up. Rosanna Polito is the director of the Illinois Minuteman Project, a group that opposes illegal immigration. When they made the decision to break our laws and cross the border, they in fact put themselves in harm's way to pay the consequences of committing a crime. It seems like in the press the wording has changed. It went from illegal alien to illegal immigrant to undocumented worker. Why can't, you, why can't you just call them heroes? Uh, heroes. Um, they are criminals. I like the word criminals myself. Rosanna has a point. We should be careful. I mean, America's a melting pot. There's the British, the Italians, the French, the Native Americans, the Chinese, the Irish, the Scandinavians, the Africans, the Indians, the Hispanics, the Japanese, the Jews, the Koreans, the Germans, the Canadians, and the Russians. But if we don't keep an eye on who's crossing the border, it could be chaos. Does that look like America? Because it doesn't taste like America. It tastes like Arby's. Diego Bonasati is the director of the Illinois Coalition for Immigrant and Refugee Rights. And hopefully, he habla inglés. We're against illegal immigration. The issue is that we have to deal with the immigrants who are here. I don't understand why, instead of coming legally, they go on a trek across the desert. I mean, that seems like a long way to go just to get some exercise. Well, if people are desperate enough, they will take that chance. We need to secure the border. We need to start catching people who have outrun their visas. Why don't we just make the desert hotter? 
uh, that would be a good idea. Uh, we have a different perspective with the Minutemen in Illinois. It's not a border state. We, do, we just want to keep people from Indiana out here. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that one. Your ethnicity is... Mexicano. Mexicano. Uh-huh. You're not making a lot of friends, are you? <laughs> uh, again, if I was worried about making friends, uh, I wouldn't be a Minuteman. Okay. I do eat beans, rice, and tortillas, though, on a daily basis. And I did have a lot of piñatas when I was a little girl. And you are pretty lazy. <laughs> yeah, right. If you give them the path to citizenship, then these, I, these folks will come forward. I think you should be required to put up your immigrant status on MySpace. <laughs> yeah, I... Um, and if you're an illegal immigrant, you can't be in anybody's top eight. Oh, I see. Really? Wow. Okay. Well, all the more reason, right, for the path to citizenship so they can get into the top eight. What compromise could you reach with uh, the ICIRR? It's okay? Zero. It's all okay? No, zero. Zero. Why would you compromise American sovereignty? Because sharing is caring, Rosanna. Sharing is caring. Do you know what the worst job in America is? I don't. Tom Cruise's wife. <laughs> it's, it's a billion year contract and you can't speak. I 